Hello, welcome to another devlog video. I haven't got anything interesting to show this week, so we'll try this format instead. The reason I haven't got anything to show is that I sort of dug myself a bit of a hole this week. And um, in order to talk a bit about it, I think I'll have to give a, a spoiler warning. It's possible that I'm going to reveal stuff about like the the setting and the backstory to the game that maybe you don't want to know. So feel free to turn off now. It won't be anything about like the the story of the game, just about the uh, the background to it. So um, somewhat unfortunately, I guess I've picked as like my two principal reference points for designing the the world, particularly the the architecture, um, Minoan Crete and um, sort of mid 16th century Ottoman Empire. And um, the problem with picking those two points is that there's a big historical gap between those two things, a really big historical gap. Um, and so as I've started to develop things more, I've sort of looked to how to fill that gap in. And the, the place that the game takes place in is a fictional place, um, but I want it to be a realistic place. And it's, uh, it's an island in the Mediterranean, somewhere between Ooh. Crete and Cyprus, um, fairly small island and um, with a long history of civilization and conquest and reconquest and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the, the question is really, in my fictional history of this island, what happened between uh, the ancient Greek part of it and uh, the Ottoman Empire part of it? And... And I don't know. And so I sort of started, you know, thinking, well, I don't need, I don't really want to develop the whole history. I don't want to talk about, you know, Roman occupation and, uh, you know, every, every step of the thing. So I'll, I'll kind of pick something in the middle between those two things, not actually in the middle, but, you know, in between those two things. And, um, and then have three reference points for my design and sort of consider the history simplified down to those three points and so i started looking into um you know the the italian city states of like starting in the 11th century 10th century something like that uh you know uh, genoa venice something like that and sort of consider well you know it would have been greek back in the um the third millennium bc it was uh it was invaded and taken over by Genoa in, I don't know, 1100 uh, AD. And then it was taken by the Ottomans in the beginning of the 16th century. Uh, but that still leaves a lot of gaps now. And uh, it doesn't feel right to have this, this big gap in between um, the ancient Greek stuff and the uh, middle ages um, but kind of beside all of this I decided that like um, I came to realize that my my plan for my level design needs an extra section a section that hasn't been built at all most of uh, my original plan is is done there's a little building that's missing and there's some details and architectural elements and rooms which aren't complete, but the the basic layout of the thing is constructed and I realised that I need an extra one, extra area, and I wanted to put in some like um some some baths, I guess, uh, you know, Roman baths or whatever. Not Roman, but and so that's the hole that I fell down of starting to do research on on uh, design and layout and systems of bathing going back to ancient Greece and uh, sort of following through and I've uh, been doing a lot of uh, 
reading of, you know, bizarre early 20th century um, analysis of Greek literature to find out their bathing habits through to, um, I suppose, the most contemporary stuff I've been reading is like um, the Encyclopedia Iranica, Iran, Iranica, I guess, which is a whole load of stuff about uh, what is now Iran and uh, talking about the the history of bathing there f- through starting with pre-Islamic um, Persia uh, and going to more or less the, the modern day. And um, I realised that Oof, this is a massive hole. Now I've spent hours and hours reading uh, stuff and looking at uh, drawings of uh, excavations of baths and realising that you know really should probably think about the Romans. They, they were probably here and um, I don't want to go down that hole. Um, and you know, what happened in all those thousand years? And, you know, is, Maybe these, these is a little island. Maybe they just bath in the sea and that would be simpler and I should build a simple area. But I like the idea of having little baths and this is all tied into the fact that I still haven't worked out how to do water and water is complex and uh, on and on and on. And I think really I've, I've spent like a week, a week, uh, not wasting time, but you know, falling down this rabbit hole of research, which is not necessary to, to fall down. And that's, that's twofold. That's the bars. And that's also the wanting to flesh out the, the history I've been reading, um, 14th century, I think, um, Spanish travel logs recently. Um, and, uh, I guess it's, there's, there's a limit, isn't there? You've got to you've got to stop at some point. I'm not very good at tell, telling myself or working out where the the correct point to to stop is, because uh, after all, it it is a fictional place, and the the history is not. I was going to say it's not central to the game. Uh, the 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 game world is really important for the for the story that I'm going to tell with it. So. It is, but I'm not gonna. There's you're not gonna be able to, you know, pick up um, history books in the world and read about the, you know, what happened two hundred years ago, or anything like that. So um, yeah, that's why this format for the video this week. I realised that my sound's been clipping a bit, which is bad. I apologise for that, and um, I should try and look at the camera more probably. Uh, this is probably an easier way to do these videos. I don't show you any game, but, um, well, we'll see. Um, I think that's everything. Toodaloo!